Hey guys, I am back with a new video today of Dragon Raja and I am in Tokyo, I'm chilling but today we are going to be talking about leveling up I know for some people who are new to the game uh, it's a little confusing on how to level up uh, how to be, make sure that you are getting everything done in a day uh, so let's talk about this real quick let's get right into it now I am here and I'm going to show you what you guys should be doing when you are leveling up so there's one very important thing to remember in this game is what is called the solo exp now what is a solo exp so when the solo exp fails for the day it means you cannot gain any more exp from certain events which are those certain events all the events that has a star next to it like ace trip dragon slayer Crazy Adventure, Devil's Awake, Fast and Furious, uh, and I think Snow Moon Battlegrounds. All of them that has star next to it, you will not be able to gain any more EXP from them once you hit your solo EXP cap. Now, I know some might, people might think there's a lot of dailies to do, but depending on how you do them, there can be less to do now let's say you do you're more of a pvp person right what you could do is you could queue up a snow moon battlegrounds and you could cap your solo exp dailies by doing snow moon battlegrounds and then once you've just done a few uh, four or five of them you can check on your solo exp and see how much of it you have capped now snow moon battlegrounds and uh dragon slayer is a great way to try to cap your solo exp uh the dragon slayer will give you like 30 40 percent of your solo exp and, and then snow moon backgrounds will also help you cap your solo exp now once you have done that once you have gotten your solo exp uh what you can do is you can do these other events which will also give you exp now all these other events uh that are live like solo salon of end will give you exp that is not based on your solo exp so you can get extra uh, so you want to be doing all those events that does not have a star next to them and if you click them You'll be able to see that they reward you with exp in the bottom here uh, So you'll be able to level up faster and more efficient uh, Now if you miss a day like me, I've missed a couple of days of uh, exp You can click on the retrieve tab and you can confirm now here it is If you do the retrieve tab right here you see I can gain a lot of EXP because I haven't been able to participate. Now I will advise you guys to use the diamond to get them because underneath here it says retrieve 90% of the EXP or you can use the gold coin and you can get 70%. I'm going to go with the 90% so I'm going to retrieve all my EXP and get some EXP so I can get closer to leveling up. Now main quests. You want to be doing your main quests when you can. Uh, a certain stage of the main quest what it will say is like me you have to re reach level 71 to join the event so basically they want me to be doing my events doing my dailies capping my solo xp and then getting all the way to 71 so i can keep continuing with the main quest now uh let me show you guys uh let's see here i was going to show you the dragon hunting now dragon hunting trials are is something you can do to always gain exp now i will advise you guys when you guys are doing these different events which are not based on your solo exp but all the other events uh like dragon hunting try to be the t leader of the team the leader of the team will get more exp than everybody else in the team because they're leading it make sure your party is filled with five people uh so the party is full when you're doing it to gain more exp and when you're doing dragon hunting make sure you guys have p pts now how do you get pts you can buy them you can use four a week uh to cap your P uh, pts and you would try to be able to use all of them uh every week uh, so it resets and you just continue on that cycle to get as much exp as possible So you want to do the dragon hunting It does not matter which of the dragon huntings you choose But make sure that you do all your dragon huntings uh, What I like to do is I like to do the daily cap uh, activity of 24 uh, And uh, just do that and then at the end of the week when the Sunday comes I like to just run as many dragon huntings as I can uh, to get as much exp as possible so 
once you cap your solo XP and do all your events, dragon hunting is really good to do. Now, it's not the only way to get EXP. Uh, you want to be doing your first battle of battlegrounds every day. The first battle, as you can see, does not have a star next to it, which means that you will get EXP from first battle, uh, no matter what, even if your solo EXP is capped for the day. So if you cap your solo EXP by not doing any battlegrounds, make sure you do first battles. Now there's even more ways. Now if you click on your club make sure you are in a club it's very important it will give you a lot of xp club has events throughout the day make sure you participate in them and you will get a lot of xp some starts at 12 30 some start at 9 some start at 8 it depends on the day but they have something called hacker group now the hacker group if you can and you can do refreshes i will advise you guys to refresh till you get either epic or yellow or which is legendary quest uh, they will give you the most EXP out of all of them and you, all you do is you just download them you wait the minute it says 50 minutes 40 minutes 40 minutes you wait the minutes you don't have to do them you don't have to go do these hacker quests you just wait you do your other events and when they are over you can literally just download them later and you will get the EXP you just wait out the time you don't have to go and click on the quest to go do them you just wait the time out and you will get it done but you want to try have uh, as high as possible now you have the allies allies also give you uh, and then they also have a, like rare quests like this as you can see i have an emergency landing now this one will give me the most cxp so i'm going to dispatch my three best allies depending on which allies you bring out if they're higher level you'll get more exp so now it says 89k but let's say i d didn't choose my top let's say i choose my bottom allies it will see 76k exp because they are not strong enough so the expected verdict is b so i'm going to use my best allies so it changes to a so i will get 89k exp instead and then we'll go to legendary one legendary i will use 662k here but if i change use three of my good allies it goes up to a now the epic one will be at 48k so again you want to make sure you have good allies and make sure that you are not choosing the blue quest or epic because you can use the refresh button to get better uh, bounty quests and you can then you can dispatch now here uh, I'm going to get A again and if you get an S if you have that good allies make sure you guys keep recruiting and leveling them up and hopefully you can get more EXP that way now that is not the only way you're like wait there's still more what is going on so with the guild quest uh, guild events you can check here on the week which quests are available every week uh, you see Yazu, uh, Yazuza's Peak is a trial quest that will give you XP which is not based on your solo XP and there's Clash of Swords today and if you click on the club and you click on info right here you can see what is available there is a one more thing that is available let me see if I can find it for you guys uh, what is it called tick now the tick quest is not by only solo XP. There's a lot of tick. You can do 100 tick a week or even more, 200 even. And they will give you EXP. Uh, so tick, hacker, the tick you have to do manually. You can't just wait uh, like you can do with the ally uh, quest or as you can do with uh, the hacker quest. You actually have to do your tick quest, which takes a long time. Uh, but again, this is not the only way to get EXP. Now I've talked about solo XP. I've talked about tick talk about guild club events all different events i talk about hacker i talk about allies but what other ways are there to get exp now once you have done everything make sure you guys do everything before you do what i'm going to show you guys now if you have done all these different things and you're like i still need a little bit more exp to level up there's two more things you can do one is you can click on where is it where is the mall you click on mall you click on mall uh oops i went you click on mall you click on store you click on mirage potion check if you have them in bag you buy five of them or check if you have five in your bag i'm getting five and once you have five in your bag you can use five a day now one gives 20k exp oh they give way more they give Okay, I'm guessing they give that much because I haven't logged in for a while, but they just gave me 500,000 per bottle. So five, I got 500k XP per bottle, and you can use five bottles a day, and they're not based on anything, so you can use them, and you will always get EXP from them. So you can use five bottles a day, make sure you guys do that, 
and that is not it there's one last thing what I like to do uh, before I go to bed if you have the ability to make sure your device is logged in wait, uh, if you guys played other games they also have this option is what you do is you click over here you click on train depending on your level Tokyo streets I will go to Tokyo streets I will enter Tokyo streets right here when you enter this place there will be a quest appearing defeat the training center street opponent and there will be 25 of them so once you reach the 25 you will get exp every single time so you can leave your character on auto here what you I like to do is when I leave it on auto I click on my team I create a team I click on down here auto receive team up invitation I click it up I click on invite nearby and if there's anybody nearby I, I invite them or I just leave it like this and then people apply to me if they're here and they join and they participate in the mob farming and mob killing and then you can you will get exp just by being afk throughout the night sometimes I wake up and I have half my exp bar done uh, but sometimes uh, the the quest disappears so you cannot gain more exp anymore of the day now I think I have gone through everything that can give you XP. I hope that was helpful. Uh, just make sure, guys, if you have done yours, keep your eye, click on this eye down here. Okay, I was gonna say, keep your eye on the XP, pun intended. If it is 100%, you should stop doing the star quest. Or you can still do them to get the rewards, but if you're on like a rushing day and you just wanna get it done real quick, uh, make sure when you solo XP hit 100%, you don't have to do anything of the events that has a star next to it. And then you can focus on doing all these other events that will give you XP throughout the day. Uh, and make sure you finish your weekly tick quest, hacker quest, and, and very important is you guys make sure you guys finish your 12 uh, bounty quests every day so it's 12 a day make sure you do those so you can focus more on those and then all the hacker quests and the tick quests is weekly so you can do them slowly by the day uh, same goes for uh, dragon hunting I hope that was helpful if that was helpful for you guys and you guys figure out something new uh, or if you have like something I missed let me know in the comments below I read every single comment make sure you guys follow my socials uh, if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.